guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today we're on here again with no makeup monday and we're going to be using a mask this is a mask i actually received in my one of my subscription boxes and it is called the pure dirty girl detoxifying mud mask with pascalate clay so i'm excited to try this out because it's supposed to be like something good for like extracting all your impurities in your skin so the only thing you have to do is it says to apply the mask liberally to clean skin and treat for five to twenty minutes it says rinse thoroughly with warm water. So the, what I saw online when I was looking at the directions on how to use this is that you leave it on until it starts to crack on your face and then you just rinse it with warm water and then follow up with your serums and your moisturizers. And it's supposed to be really, really good for your skin. So what I want to test it for is because I want to see if it's good for dry skin because my skin is very dry. So I want to see how it works for dry, sensitive skin. Because I know sometimes mud masks can be a little harsh to dry skin and can be a little harsh for sensitive skin also. So let's try this little mask out and see how good it is. So let's see what it even looks like. I haven't even opened this yet, so this will be my, like I said, my first time ever trying this. So I'm not even sure if it's like a color or if it's clear or what it is. Okay, so it's coming out looking like brown, like a doo-doo brown. <laughs> so there's the color of it. Looks like mud. So we're going to start applying this. It says to apply it liberally, which I'm not even sure what that means. I don't know if they mean like scrub it in or if they mean just apply, apply a lot. So... It's very thick right now. I mean, it's, it's like almost like trying to apply like paste on your face, on your face, on your face. It's very, very thick, but it smells good. It's got a very nice scent to it. Almost a florally scent. So I'm going to try to keep it out of my eyebrows and out of my hairline. Just do it onto my actual face. I can feel a little bit of grittiness to it. I feel something in there that feels a little bit gritty. I think I just got it on my eyebrows. Oh my gosh, it's very, very thick. Super, super thick. It's kind of hard to apply because it's so thick. So, yeah, it's like sticky thick. It almost wants to like, I don't know. It's, it's a very strange consistency. I've never felt anything quite like this on a mask, to be honest with you. It feels like glue. It's very, 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 very sticky and very stiff. I feel like I'm having to use a lot of the mask, too. So I'm having to use a lot to be able to cover my face because it says cover or to do it liberally. So I'm assuming that means the, the amount of coverage you want and not how you scrub it in because you can't really move it. Oh my goodness. So, okay, so it does smell good, but it's really hard to apply. And I feel like it's a little bit too thick. I feel like it's really, really you could not apply this with a brush. You're going to have to use your fingers to apply this. My fingers are starting to stick together. I don't know if you can tell it or not. But it's sticking together, my hands are. Which is very strange. I've never felt a mask like this before. And I've used plenty of masks. This is the, probably the most unique feeling one that I've ever had. And not unique in a good way. So it just feels very... I don't know. It feels like gum. It feels like I'm putting gum on my hands or something. On my face. So now it is on my face. So what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to actually let this sit until it starts to crack. And then I'll come back on here right before I take it off and let you guys see how it looks before once it starts to crack. And then we'll remove it and then we'll discuss my thoughts and my, my final thoughts and my final, final opinion on this mask. So you guys just hang tight. Okay guys, I've had this on for about 15 minutes and it's super dry to my face right now. My face feels very stiff. It's hard for me to move. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the color of this mask isn't exactly brown. It's almost like a grayish purple. And I think it must have some red clay or something in it. So what I'm going to do now is actually go rinse this off and then I'll come back and then we'll do a final discussion on my final thoughts on this product to let you know if I would recommend this if you have dry, sensitive skin like I do. So hang tight. Okay guys, I've removed the mask and I'll tell you honestly my face feels a little bit tingly, a little, it burns a little bit now. It feels like it might have been a little too harsh for my skin. I think this is something meant for someone who has more oily combination skin because my dry skin is not really loving this. I actually cannot wait to put my moisturizer and my serum on for the day because my face feels very irritated, to be honest with you. It feels almost like I took a scrubby and scrubbed my face with it. I think it's a little too harsh for sensitive, for dry, sensitive skin. I wouldn't recommend that for if you have that type of skin like like I do. But if you do have like maybe oily or combination skin, I think it might be great for it because it does seem like it's like taking everything out, not taking everything out, but it feels like it's like exfoliating your skin, but also removing anything that's bad to your skin. But my skin right now feels very, 
feels almost on fire. So I don't recommend this for someone who has dry sensitive skin. I think you're not going to like it. My face feels very hot. So I'm going to read a little bit about this mask just, just to give you some information on it. You can purchase this mask through Ulta and it is $29 for, it looks like maybe, let me see how many ounces that does, four ounces. So $29 for four ounces. So and a lot of people I, I see when the reviews on here are comparing this to maybe like the Glam Glow mask. I don't think I agree with that, but you know, to each his own or her own, <laughs> whichever. Um, so in the ingredients, I was looking through the ingredients and I don't see any perfumes, like anything that would give it like that scent where I, I told you I could smell that it smelled perfumey almost. I don't see anything in there like that, but it does have like a lot of oils, like lavender oil and rosemary oil and leaf oil and oyster shell extract. So I'm assuming that's, no, the oyster shell is not what's giving it the scent, but the oils are actually what's giving it the scent. So it's all natural, I'm, I'm assuming. It says that it is, um, I will add this in here so you can read it along with me. It says, Dirty Girl Detoxifying Mud Mask with Pascalate Deep Cleanses and detoxifies your skin using a unique form of calcium ben benonite clay. This mineral mud facial mask unclogs pores and draws impurities out of your skin, leaving your complexion looking brighter, smoother, and radiantly clean. Free of harsh chemicals, dyes, this gently exfoliating facial mud mask penetrates pores for an invigorating deep clean that won't irritate or dry out your skin. So I'm going to disagree with that it doesn't dry out your skin because my skin feels super dry right now. To touch it, it doesn't feel dry. I don't feel it like when I'm touching my face, it doesn't feel dry. But like physically, I can feel that my face feels almost like somebody sucked all the moisture out of my skin. You know, like when you wring a sponge out and it's nice and dry, that's what my face feels like right now. I feel like somebody kind of wrung all the moisture out of my skin. So I'm excited to put my moisturizer and my serum on for the day because honestly, I my face feels very on fire. It's very, very hot right now. So I would not recommend this for someone who has dry, oily, dry or sensitive skin. If you have oily, maybe combination skin and your skin is not sensitive, then you might enjoy this mask. But as for the other, you know, like dry sensitive, I wouldn't recommend it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any concerns about this mask. I would be, I would feel, feel free to ask any questions because I'll be happy to answer those for you. And otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.